If you guys want the best Roblox fish script, I'll be showing you how to get the Lithicals GUI, how to use it, and lastly, showing you all the features. So to get started, you guys are gonna wanna scroll down on the first link in the description. And once you scroll to this blue button that says get script, you guys are gonna wanna, of course, click on it, but watch out for the two pop-ups. So click and X out. But on the third time you guys click, it'll actually let you continue to this Loot Labs. And now you guys will just have to click click on the task it gives you wait about a minute or so and once it gives you that green check mark now you can continue end up to this page and now you guys can copy this code then you're going to want to open up your roblox emulator i'm using ld player and i have a full tutorial on how to set this all up you can find a full tutorial on how to get an executor like Yvonne in the last link in the description watch it after but anyway now that we're in the game you open up your executor then you press load script button and then you click on execute and then the ui should load up which i will be showing you all the features in order to make sure you guys can stay undetected and safe so let's get right into it with auto cast and as you guys can see it just throws the cast to start fishing and you also can turn on auto reel which of course once it catches something it will automatically undo the cast and bring it back in in order for you guys to actually get the fish but first let me talk to pierre pierre came out here finally Okay, come on. Give, give me my reward, man. Or my mission. Okay, catch three fish. Yeah, I can do that, bro. I can do that. No, I'm working on it. All right, let's go out to the docks, guys. And let, let's lock in right here, okay? Auto cast, auto reel. And I think that should be pretty good to go. Let's just give it a second. And we should start catching some fish shortly. And as you guys can see, I just got a bait cage that's not what I was, I was trying to get some fish but i guess that counts because my level just went up by one so i guess i caught something and it does look like we actually have a few things oh my gosh what just happened i got flung into the water let me out but honestly guys it looks like we do have two fish we have a mackerel i don't know i don't know uh let me let me see i'm still working on it i guess okay i still need to catch more unfortunately all right let me let me get back to you guys once i catch these i can just sit back relax let it do its thing and as you guys just saw we automatically got that last fish as well i think it was bigger it's a sinister fish hold up let me let me turn this off real quick let me turn off autocast let's take a look at this fish it's smoking and it's why is it smoking black we got like a radioactive fish right here i wonder how much i can sell this for uh, it, i bet it'd be pretty good but anyway pierre i got my fishes thank you yeah i did great it's pretty easy auto farmed it no thanks i don't want another test bro but let's continue with the gui guys because we also have things like freeze character and that'll make it so now we can't walk i'm trying to go backwards i'm trying to go forwards i can't as you can see my character is kind of trying to but i can't move and that's pretty useful if you guys are trying to auto farm and not get pushed around not get flung around by the fish you know reeling in and all those issues and over here you also have auto shake if you guys want to help yourself fish more efficiently so let me just show you that real quick as y'all can see it's clicking the button automatically all over the screen boom there we go so it gets it pretty well so it works really nicely but that's just the start of it there's much more guys okay so first off we have sell all let's take a look at our money right now we have 700 coins so let's sell all yep confirm and we got 200 dollars. really even for that sinister fish that toxic okay you know what? i kind of got scammed i feel like but oh well Let's move on to the next section, guys, which is the area teleport. So over here, you guys can select all the areas in the game. Now, I don't know what is the best area, but I'm going to go to the last one. I'll assume the last is the best. So here I am on Vertigo. I can't see. It's really dark. I do actually want to go to like an advanced fishing area just to see what we can do. So let's go to the Sunstone. Uh, once again, I have no clue what this place is, but let's go fishing. Boom. Landed on a crate. <laughs> okay. It's a bit of a fail, but you know. Okay. I'm gonna undo that. Let's try that again. Bro. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not doing it long enough. All right. Boom. Amazing. Was that amazing? Bro, my rod is just hanging. Okay. Let me go down here, guys. I'm gonna, I gotta stand on one of these crates and then I'm fishing. Boom. There you go. Okay. Now we're at, oh man. One more attempt. Shake, 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 shake. Well, I mean, I, we can auto farm it, but I'm just going to do a manual for a second. You know what? No. What am I doing, guys? This is a script showcase. Auto shake and auto reel, actually. Let's just turn everything on. All right. I don't have to do anything. Boom. We got a, a boot. 
What the heck? Okay, we got trash. Okay, let's move on, guys. Let's go to a different area real quick. Let's go to the ocean. I think that would be nice. Oh my gosh, am I in the middle of the ocean? Oh, this is not what I wanted, honestly. Okay, let's go to a different place. Let's go to the harvester's spike. That sounds interesting. Okay, this is also in the middle of the ocean. Dude, where is a normal place to be? Lava. That does sound interesting. It's kind of spooky over here, but I'm looking really majestic in the middle of this lava pit. So I'm going to stand here and show you guys some of the misc settings over here. So first off, we have identify client. So that will make it so you guys are basically incognito. So it'll hide your character, your back bling. It'll make it disappear. And also it'll hide your level, your money, and like all your names. So now nobody will be able to identify who you are. For example, if you're recording a video, you will be 100% anonymous. So that's pretty useful. But also you also have things like a praise held item value. So I am actually quite interested. How much does this boot cost? Okay, let's see how much we could get for this. Let's appraise it. And it was pretty bad. I think uh, it was unlucky better. I don't think that's something good. Moving on guys, we have another cool features, which is things like claim crab cages. So if you guys are able to claim them, you can claim mass crab cages, which is you super useful. Also, obviously, guys if we go into the water and we swim we are running out of air which can be annoying so what we can do is turn on no drowning and as y'all can see my bar is no longer going down let me go farther down and let me just swim around and as you guys can see my bar is not changing at all so now we are invincible to drowning which is super useful especially in some situations that you guys do need to be underwater more and also you know you just won't have to worry about that anymore so that's a pretty nice feature but along with that we also have things like grab Halloween ingredients. So as you can see, we are teleporting all across the map and grabbing tons of things. So it's pretty crazy. I mean, how many witches ingredients do we have now? We have eight. So let me turn that off for a second. We got enough for now. So yeah, we have eight of these witches ingredients. They kind of look like grenades anyway. So that's super useful. And you guys can, of course, go to lobby to lobby and farm them all from all the lobbies. So you can get a lot of these materials. You can also load infinite yield straight from the GUI and do like, you know, fly, for example. I don't know exactly why you need this, but you can, you know? So that's cool. Let me unfly real quick. And you guys can also, of course, turn on things like ESP so you can see all the players on the map and things like that. So it's a nice feature, but nothing really remarkable. But there are some more features, guys, in the gifting section. So over here, you guys can select somebody in the player list of your game. So let me refresh it real quick. And now we can select. Okay, now let's go to this bacon over here, right here. What's his name? Muzz. His actual username is Mustafazid. Okay, let's try to gift him whatever we can, all right? Just out of the kindness of my heart. All right, gift all fish. There we go. And if I was above level 15, I would be able to gift him everything I can. But unfortunately, I'm too much of a noob. So I cannot do that yet. But if I continue auto farming with those crazy auto farms, I'm sure I'll be able to do it. So let me turn all of these on. Just spam all the features. And let's see how much we can make, guys. Let's see what fish we can do. All right, we caught a crate. Okay, that's a new one for me. I haven't gotten that one before. And we got a point. Okay, that was awful. Come on. And apparently we have to talk to Pear again. So maybe we'll go do that in just a second. Got a red snapper. Oh, that's pretty good. Four kilograms. Okay. Okay. That's valid. Let's get one more catch and then we'll move on guys. Okay. Trout. Okay. You know, that's not bad. I'm not going to complain. Let me turn these off for just a sec and let's go to Pierre over here. Hello, sir. What do you want? I did great. It was easy, bro. Trust. Would you like one last task? No, I'm going to be leaving in a little. All right, bro. I'm flying out of this town. So let's go ahead and sell all our stuff real quick let's just see how much money we make yep i want to sell all and we made a little bit not that great not that bad i can't complain we're back at 1k but i am confused like what do you do with these witches ingredients I've, I've never played this game and especially not on the halloween event so i wouldn't really know so one of the best things of this ui guys is of course the fact that it's keyless that's something kind of getting rare and rare by the day so it's super nice that you guys can actually use this ui without having to go through three you know keys system steps so check it out if y'all want leave a like subscribe if you stuck until the end because you obviously enjoyed and let me know down in the comments if there's another script that you guys want me to do a video on or another game and watch that video right there on how to get eve on executor to do this yourself or this other trolling video where i used a server-sided cheat and went on brookhaven and stabbed people and blew them up with airstrikes it was super fun check those videos out and i'll catch you there
拜拜。